our relationships become like insurance companies. Seriously. I want maximum benefit from you while giving you minimum responsibility. While giving, at least from my perspective, I don't want to give you much. I want to benefit from you. The minute that the scale tips the other way, I'm going to try to distance myself from that relationship. And subhanAllah, think about this in regards to parents. You know, I say this all the time. Especially brothers and sisters who are just raising kids, who are just, you know, new to this whole parenting thing. I'm new to the parenting thing too, by the way. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to test me with my words. But it's very important for us to understand. The best way to have children that will love and respect you when you get older, and that will treat you well, and that will be grateful to you, is to make them grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you raise your children upon deen, what else is going to make them treat you well whenever you get older? Otherwise, if, they, if they're not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they're not thinking of Allah azza wa jal, then you're, go, you're just going to be a burden on them. You're just going to be dead weight. They're not going to want to be around you anymore. You're draining them now. They've already got the car from you. They've already went off to college. They've already been, you put them on their own two feet. Now that they're set on their own two feet, they don't want you anymore. They don't need you anymore. It happens a lot with parents, right? And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تُعْجِبْكَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ أَوْرَادُهُمْ don't be amused, don't be fascinated by their wealth and by their children. Why? يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُعَذِّبَهُمْ بِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala desires to punish them with that. Think about this. The brothers and sisters who will neglect Islamic education in their homes, who will neglect tarbiyah, who will neglect raising their children and raising themselves at the same time upon la ilaha illallah, who will themselves not be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will not teach their children the same way who will invest so much time into getting them first class education, who will make sure that they're spoiled rotten, that you drive the best car when you get older, that you have everything at your disposal. What does that benefit when the child then turns around at 18 and says, shut up dad, I'm a grown man now. Benefited you nothing. So the best way to have children who will treat you well, is to raise them to be dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because as Imam al-Qayyim rahimahullah said, the opposite of the hadith holds true also. Rasulullah sallallahu said, مَنْ لَمْ يَشْكُرِ النَّاسِ لَمْ يَشْكُرِ اللَّهِ Whoever does not thank people does not thank Allah. Whoever is not grateful to Allah will not be grateful to people. He will forget you. Your child would forget you. Why? Because you're a burden now. And we think like insurance companies sometimes. We become that shallow.